Make sure you never miss a thing by setting up your very own personalised notification centre. You can tailor all aspects of how your device gets messages to you. So in this lesson we're going to look at how you can customise your notification centre, including how you can edit and configure widgets, which are the newest thing in iOS 8. Now how do you access the notification centre? If you scroll down from the top of your device, right where the time is, you can drag down like a little blind the notification centre. And there are two panes. There's the today view, so these are things that are occurring today, so weather, whatever calendar entries you have, reminders, to-do lists. Um, and you can now add widgets to that today view. Weather is a widget that I've added, and we'll look at how you can add widgets a little bit later. The other panel is the notifications. So any time an app wants to send you a message, and you can see that I've just received one now from Google+, Plus, the app Google+, Plus, which is telling me I've now got a new auto-awesome video, uh, as well as a Facebook Pages app. So apps will send you notifications, which can be messages, uh, game updates, new versions of, of things, new uh, editions of a book are available, whatever it happens to be, will appear in that notifications panel. And when you want to delete them, you just tap that cross and clear them. Because if you don't clear them, they'll just keep piling up. To remove the notification center, just drag it up. Now you can also access the notification center when your screen is locked. So if I turn one off, I'm going to the lock screen. At the very top, you can see a horizontal line, which I can drag down, and that will open up the notification panel. I've got the two tabs before I actually unlock it. Now, if I don't want those to be there, I'm going to the settings and into passcode, enter your passcode, and then I can turn off what access I'd like to be available from a lock screen. So I would like the notifications view to not be available, but I would like the today view because that's where all the widgets are. So I'll turn that setting on, then turn off the, the iPad, turn it on. When I drag it now, all I have is that today view. I don't see the other panel. In settings, there is a notifications tab. And it's in this tab that you can control which apps are permitted to send you notifications and which ones are not. So you've got an include section where all the apps here in the include section I've allowed access to give me notifications and then I've got a do not include section. So these are all the apps that I don't want messages from and most, a lot of them are the games and, and things that you know I don't care and I don't wish to be inundated with messages. And you can change this access at any time. You can also arrange in the included apps how your notifications will appear. So if, if messages such as like your text messages, the calendar, my photos, whatever it is, if I want whatever messages I want to appear towards the top of this panel, because as you get more and more notifications, they start disappearing. So you want to have your most important notifications at the top with the least important coming towards the bottom. So you've got to decide in here whether you want to organize your notifications view manually, in which case uh, anything that's in the, the first app there, messages, any, any notification that comes from messages is going to appear at the top because that's the order I've got them in, where if I get something from um, Facebook that's going to appear towards the bottom and any app that's above it that notification will appear before Facebook that's organizing them manually or you can sort by time where your notifications are sorted by time and date um, I'm going to have mine manually and then what I want to do is rearrange the apps in the include section so if I tap edits I can move them around, so I'd rather have a calendar notification above something else, and I want this calendar, which is the iPad calendar, turned off because I use a different calendar app. And 
all you're doing is using those handles to move them around and put them in the order that is important to you. So I'd rather have uh, this one above here and you just have to look at the importance of the apps and look at which app should rather have messages from above others. And once you've put them in the order that you that you want, then they'll stay there until you move them again. So, for example, notifications from lynda.com means every time there's new courses, there's a message sent. So once you're happy with that order and tap done, and that's sorting them manually, anything in the do not include, if I tap on one, I tap on uh, this one called Flipboard, I haven't allowed notifications. Now, if I've changed my mind and I want to now use that, I want to have that app send me notifications, I just have to turn that on. And that will go back into, at the bottom of the include section, where I can then decide well, I want to, to move that somewhere else. Done. So let's look at the, the structure of, of a notification. And they all are a little bit different depending on the app. So if we look at the, the linda.com one and open it. And in every app you have something similar to this. Some of them have additional criteria that you have to change. So first of all, I have to allow notifications. And if I, if I toggle that off, then that, will, that app will now appear in the do not include. So let's turn it off. And then everything's all shut up. Go back to notifications. And it's down in the do not include now at the top. I can put that back in. Now it's all back. And puts it back in the place that it originally came from. So you can give permission, you can take permission away whenever you want. Every time you download a new app, you'll get a message that says, can we send you notifications? If you allow, it means you're putting it in the include section. So showing notification center. So that means show it up here in the notifications panel. And it's saying, how many notifications can we show you at once? So in this case, I've got five. Now, if I put 20, that means I could have 20 notifications from uh, lynda.com without me having to go in and clear them out. Sound simply means when a notification arrives that you'll hear a sound. You can't change the type of sound that comes in. The badge app icon, if that's turned on, then when you get a notification, you'll see the icon of the app. So there's the, the G plus icon for that app. If that was turned off, all you would see is the name of the app. So it just clarifies where the notifications come from. Show on lock screen. So if I had and don't show that on lock screen, if there was a notification that came from lynda.com, it would not show up on the lock screen. So if there were some apps that were uh, somewhat more private, you do want them available from anyone who could, could use your iPad because once you're in the uh, lock screen and you've got notifications enabled, anybody can see what they are. So in this way you can remove some of the more sensitive ones. The alert style when unlocked. Uh, if you don't want any alerts where from a particular app, you can change that to none. You'll get no banner or pop-up change it to banners, then banner will appear at the top of the screen and go away. So you'll briefly see the notification, it'll appear at the top of the screen, and then it will disappear. And the only way you'll be able to see it is if you take, uh, go back to Notification Center and look at notifications, and then you'll see the notification. So this one, for example, appeared as a banner, but if I'm not looking and I missed it or I haven't got time to look at it, it just goes into notifications and will sit there until you clear it. The alert, the alert requires an action before proceeding. So if it was a, uh, an email message, for example, that the, uh, the notification would come in and it would sit there on your screen and will not move until you, you actually deal with it. So for each app, you can change the type of alert style that you'd like. I prefer banners because they're less intrusive. Now, the new thing that's apparent now is called widgets. So when I 
go into my today view I have an edit button at the bottom when you tap edit these are all the things that you can include in your today view and the ones that are green at the bottom there are apps that are installed on my iPad that have made widgets available not every app has got a widget the ones at the top here are what the today summary, the tomorrow summary come de as a default in the iPad, which you can turn off. Well, let's just tap done. So in today and tomorrow, there's a tomorrow summary there. Tomorrow you have no events scheduled for tomorrow. If I don't want to see that, then I'm going to delete it. Just tap on the red and remove that and done. So that one's gone because the calendar will tell me what I'm doing tomorrow. So you can go through and edit and add various widgets. So for example, I've added the calendar app. I don't want this calendar because that's the one that comes with it. I don't use that calendar. But I'd like some other one so I could put in a calculator. So all you've got to do is tap the green and now it's come up to the top there. I've used weather, so I've installed Yahoo Weather as an app, and Yahoo Weather has a widget. Um, Evernote, if you're an Evernote user, it makes using Evernote much more simple. If you're a Kindle user, a Kindle widget will give you the apps that you, the, the books that you're reading at the moment, with a quick way of accessing those. A BuzzFeed. Gives me sort of celebrity gossip news would give me some news widgets. Now you have to be careful because if you have too many widgets, it's going to be one big scrolling list of information. But once you've um, edited it, click done. And then, then when I let's put this back, go back to a home screen. Now when I open the notification center and look in the today view. I've got all this extra information. I have the weather. I haven't figured a way of, of removing that top one there because that's sort of superfluous with a weather widget. I've got calendars. I can go straight into a new, from here, I can actually add a new event to the calendar. This is going to take me straight into that calendar. So that's quicker than trying to find the calendar app and open it. I've got a calculator, which is PCALC Lite. Start the beginning. If you're an Evernote user, then it gives you a quick way of getting in information into your Evernote account for Kindle. So I've got to be sort of strict with myself. What am I actually going to use here? I'd like the weather. I'd like a calculator. Do I really want to see what books I'm reading at the moment so I can quickly access them? It's just giving me more things to scroll through. Do I really want to see all of the latest gossip? Do I want to, want to see all the latest news? So you have to decide which ones you really want. I don't want that. I'm going to remove that. And done. And I'll put in the you know description, I'll put a link to a whole list of possible widgets that are available at this moment, but they'll keep changing. So it's sort of a little bit better now. Got only got a couple, got the weather. I've still got those news stories which when you look at them aren't really that useful because you've only got three stories so that one's gone as well so I can see down there I could have reminders if I really wanted if I used reminders I could have reminders up there so it depends what you use so it's got to be very personal how you set this up and then back into the settings and passcode and I'm only going to allow the today view. So in this lesson we looked at how to configure the notification center, including how to add and edit your widgets. So that's all for this lesson.